Welcome. What we're going to talk about today is the uh, typical questions that we receive on spray systems. But before we get into that, I want to break this video into basically three sections. The first one is going to cover the basics of all uh, spray systems. The second one is going to be the questions that we actually receive and I'll explain and walk through and sh point out the troubleshooting that would be involved. And then the third one is actually going to show you some of the troubleshooting and some tips that you can use to uh, more quickly isolate problems potentially. So with that we're going to get into what do all spray systems have. The first thing they have is some sort of a reservoir which goes without saying. Then there's a pump. From the pump, there's a line from the reservoir, which is also slangly referred to as a suction line. Coming out of the other side of the pump is actually your pressure line, or it's actually a flow line that it, the pump is pushing the flow through, and then it's going to go into a set of uh, valves or some way to control the, the application of the fluid when and where you want it applied, and then the, the back portion here is going to be your pressure regulator or the, the device that actually blocks the flow of the pump. As it blocks the flow, it creates pressure. So remember the first rule in hydraulics is fluid is going to follow the path of least resistance. So when you're troubleshooting, keep that in mind that the fluid is going to go where it has the least resistance. Now after it passes through a pressure regulating device, typically the overflow will free flow back to the tank. So with that, um, some systems will also have a, an agitator line, which is used to agitate the chemicals, and that is typically come, and that will come off of your pressure line as well. And again, the, the basic setup is your, your pressure or your pump generates the flow, it goes through, it meets resistance, it creates pressure. This is the pressure we want to measure on this side and then on the back side of the pressure regulator it's going to flow back into the tank. So those are the basics of what all spray systems are comprised of. Some have a lot more complexity as far as the number of devices, controls and, and uh, bypasses, but they all have the same the same basic elements, so you just have to approach each one and figure out where you start. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and then we'll get into the questions that are posed to TIR on a regular basis. Texas Industrial Remcor, quality valves and controls today and tomorrow.